And that's why I hate tyranny so much, is that it overruns the strong. It overruns the creative. It attacks the leaders. It attacks the beautiful because the, the control freaks are like a cancer. They're not dominant. They're malfunctioning. They don't hold beauty in high esteem. They don't honor it. Their, their spirit, their soul, their intellect does not commune with all that is good. They see beauty as ugly. They want to pull it down. I've studied history. I've studied their psychological makeup. In every case in history, these, these particularly nasty elites do this. Sometimes you get a philosopher king. I'm always against kings and centralized power. But sometimes you get a king who discovers beauty and discovers humanity and society. And those are times when societies flourish like nothing you've seen. But it's very rare and that person always falls because the levers are seen by the tyrants and the control freaks under them. Those that simply seek power for power's sake, who want to press blindly on the nerve of power, they will overthrow anything centralized. And so a philosopher king, the wise king, and it's happened many times in history, is still extremely rare. And it's transient. It, 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 it's like lightning in a jar. It, 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 it flashes and is gone. Only a generally educated and informed populace in science, mathematics, beauty, literature, music, history, uh, the love and desire to build and to honor creativity and honorableness, that will build a system that will take us to the stars and beyond. And beyond the subatomic, all of it. We're already unlocking the secrets of the universe. We've only begun to learn. We've only begun to even imagine the incredible power that our species is capable of. The globalists, at least 30 years advanced, are still mere children, despite the fact that they have even more advanced secrets. Just because they cold-bloodedly understand how humanity operates and have created this artificial habitat to control us, does it mean that they still aren't influenced in blowback by the societal poisoning that they've engaged in. And so now you've got psychopathic groups with armies of sociopath control freaks under them and the mental midgets that also serve them in the lower rungs in control of what can only be described as super science systems, believing that they're cold-bloodedly executing this when they're the opposite of cold-blooded. You people are going to destroy yourselves. You're not just going to destroy us. You can't destroy the general public without destroying yourselves. Have you not learned history? No matter how powerful your genetic engineering, no matter how powerful your computers, no matter how powerful your systems, I don't care that Google can predict mass movements down to almost 100%. Of course, that's what DARPA built it for. I told you 15 years ago I knew it was a crystal ball. What do you think that crystal ball is going to do? It's going to destroy you along with us. You people aren't gods and you're not meant to be gods. And humanity is only crawling right now. Could humanity in the future control these systems? Assuredly, yes. But not until there's real leadership that doesn't seek to dumb down and destroy, but seeks to unleash the fires of liberty and stand back in awe at what humans can do. I admire strength and beauty. I admire creativity. I admire art. I admire people doing better than I do. When someone's better looking than I or smarter than I, I don't di I'm not disgusted by them. I'm not envious or jealous. I admire them because they're a human and so am I. And it's that type of understanding that is going to free this species. We have the worst of our people running things who have graduated by degree in the crimes against humanity they've committed until they now are a charnel house orgying in corruption trying to one-up each other on how ruthless and bloodthirsty and sickening they are. The art houses in New York and Berlin and Paris for decades the most popular highest selling art is the most vile ugly things you can imagine. And the elite
battle with each other to own the most sickening, disgusting, frivolous art they can because it's part of a sick debasing. It's part of tithing to evil, tithing to ugliness. They're not stupid to pay $55 million for a skull with upside down crosses painted on it and crusted with diamonds. They're doing it to, to, to worship the dark energy they've given themselves over to. And it is your inability out there to uncloak these people. And all you got to do is open your eyes. They're not cloaked. All you got to do is put the sunglasses on, the spiritual, psychological, survival instinct glasses, and go with your gut, go with your intuition, go with history, with common sense, and you will suddenly see them for what they are. And it is disgusting and pathetic. When I look at Rick Perry, I don't see someone powerful and strong. I see a, a, a crone, a, a wraith, a, a stilted, jilted, owned, twisted, empty vessel uh, for dust. I see the same thing with Obama, a prancing teleprompter reading joke. I can see them. What do they say and they live? I got one that can see. It's so easy to see. But you've got to be ready to face what you see once you open your mind's eye. You have to be ready. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. You take the blue pill and you go back to where you were. And all of this is forgotten and it's just a dream. You take the red pill and we go down the rabbit hole. But as you reach for the red pill, remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. We have let evil run rampant and take over every facet of society. We have taught ourselves that corruption and ugliness is sexy and powerful and cool because it's aberrant. We have sold ourselves on bondage, that it's trendy to go with the flow. Some people get freaked out by this radio show, and they should. But don't get freaked out in despair. This is the great challenge. You should thank your lucky stars that you are alive right now and part of this great challenge. You are alive at the beginning of the greatest conflict and challenge that our species and this planet has ever seen. The future destiny of our species and all those that came before us and all the 7 billion alive today and all of the trillions to come at the birth of our species, the true next level of where we're going, we are here at that jump point. We are here at that crossroads. The globalists look out across the seas of time and they see the empowering opportunities of uplifting humanity. But because of their fallen nature, they seek to covet This information for themselves, lest you get it and they no longer be in power. But they will never be able to attain those heights that they can see if they do not repent and change their ways. They will not go forward. They are barred. They are blocked. They are damned by their own decisions. They will not go forward into the future. The pit that the technocrats have dug for humanity is a pit that they are at the bottom of. Only by turning with knowledge and love and honor and goodness does this species have any hope of obtaining 
the unattainable, and that is survival. Following the course of the controllers leads us to certain doom. Doom is more than a word. Doom is so much more. Doom is complete. Doom is forever. Doom is irrevocable. Doom is where this road leads. And all of you that believe you will protect yourselves and your families by joining with the system or by trying to sit on the fence, you are neither hot nor cold, so I spit you out of my mouth. Do you want to be spit out of the universe's mouth? Is that what you seek? Better to join with Satan willingly. Better to join and consciously know the evil missile you ride right into Hades than to think you're going to cheat God of justice. You don't think there's good and evil. Look around you. You don't think there's a God. Look where you are in the middle of wonderment, spinning through space, the light of distant stars, many of which long extinct, burn, burn in your eye, burn in your mind, burn forever in your soul, the light of creativity and creation. We are made in the image of the great creator. The devil is not the grand architect. The devil takes God's name and is a counterfeit. We're going to return with the tipping point, then all the news, and your phone calls. I'm done preaching. Stay with us.